Hey guys, Castle here, and today we're going to be talking about how to get all the gathering items and the minerals within the Steer region itself. So just like I did with the Caveras one, I'm going to go through each zone one by one, saying all the different things that you can get there and where to uh, actually find them specifically. So to start us off, we have the Stia outskirts. This is the first zone that you encounter once you reach Stia. And in here, you have nine different gathering items that you can find. First, there's two minerals, dulamite and pentalite. And then there is a number of different gathering items, such as robust cabbage, rich hermit crab, light sea slug, crisp mango, crisp octopus, robust plum, and the famous Stia carambola, which the famous items are used for something specifically that we'll touch on later on. But back to the minerals and the steel outskirts, you can find them in two locations. First off is next to the entrance to the Dreissen plant, that big door or the teleporter leading there. You should find them on the left and right hand sides. And then there is the region mag on Strowball Isle, which you can find the minerals here as well. Both of them, the pentalite and the dulamite. But also on this island, you can find the slugs that are also in these pools. And they uh, should just be kind of like one or two in each of these different areas. The next by the Grain Coast Ryuker device, you can find the octopi kind of on the coastline where they'll be on the left and right hand side of it, uh, where you should be able to get like them in chunks like of like four uh, to five at a time. And you should be able to get around like, I don't know, like 20 or 30 a day from that. Then there are the crisp mangoes, which you can find at the entrance to this little road or pass, which will be on the left and right hand side. And you should be able to get a ton of these mangoes, which I personally think are one of the better items to use for like a food boost if you're looking to get the photon power, but also getting that crisp bonus. So uh, make sure to get these if you want to uh, take advantage of that. But also uh, next to one of these trees are the cabbages. Uh, which can be found uh, next to the right hand side uh, tree spot, but also next to the minerals uh, mentioned before, next to the door uh, to the Dreissen plant. Then we have the hermit crabs in this area, which are by the tower kind of island here, uh, kind of showing up on the edge of the coastline on the left hand side. Uh, I didn't see any going around the island itself, but uh, there's another spot kind of like dead ahead on this small little thing next to the giant lava flow or this little floating uh, device where you can find a few more. Then for the last gathering spot in the Stia outskirts area is this little offshoot on this island with the tower where it has a whole bunch of different fruit trees as well as more of those robust cabbages. For the green fruit that is the robust plums but the more important one is the famous carambolas here which they may not show up for you depending on the time of day because it needs to be the daytime or the yellow part of this bar next to the compass in the upper left. And then you can get a good amount of them. There's like four or five trees of these. You want to make sure to grab all of them if you're looking for the mineral infernium because you can actually exchange these with other famous items to be able to get some like every day. This exchange can be found in the Stia camp itself, right next to the Ryuker device, by talking to Sakura here, the item trader. And then you go to item exchange Stia, and then go to the bottom of the list where it says Infernium. As you see here, you need a number of different famous items that we'll be able to grab over the course of the different zones. Moving on to the next area though, we have the Dreissen plant. And with this, there are no gathering items, at least not listed here. But there are some invisible boxes that you might want to gather because they have some important items. So you can kind of tell where they're at by this glowing yellow aura or using your mag sonar, which can turn on in the mag settings and active sonar target in the invisible boxes. And then with these, you just kind of like follow them to the point and show this glowing kind of aura of a box. And then you just press E on it and you can get a number of different items. You can get alpha reactors, NEX cubes, arms refiners, as well as Infernium itself. Before these boxes, they're kind of limited each day. I think around eight spawn daily, but they can be found in kind of specific spots. So you can find them almost like right away. The first spot is this kind of large platform right by the Ryuker device, the Dreissen plant one here. And then for the second spot, it's actually above where we just were down below up onto this like bridge and platform. You can sometimes find them along this line or even up in the towers above. And for the last spot, it's actually just adjacent to uh, the second one or just across from the first area. 
They can be found in the corners of these different towers or even down below next to the teleporter. But now let's move on to the next area, Medial Outer Area 2, which for some reason comes before one uh, story-wise. But here you can find a number of different items, actually more than the outskirts. You can find a Dulamite, Photon Chunks, Tetracite, and Hexakite for the minerals. And then for the other gathering items, the food ones, Rich Stia Herbs, Rich Banana, Crisp Cauliflower, Light Apple, Robust Turban Shell, as well as the famous Stia Crab. So actually to start off, right next to us is a number of different items, the Cauliflowers, Banana, and the Turban Shells. So the Cauliflower looks like this, just right on the ground, you can pick it up, easy as that. Uh, and then the shells are in the pools nearby, the ones that are kind of like geysers in a sense. Uh, and then for the Bananas, they are right next to us with uh, the purple uh kind of trees kind of almost looks like eggplants even but if you're looking for more of the cauliflower or the bananas you can actually find more of them uh further down this path at the end or just like right here on the map but also along this path you can find the famous crabs which are glowing uh, next to other like pools of lava or other little uh, indentations in the ground and as far as I can tell, you can only get three of them a day. And they only appear in two weather conditions, the clear weather or the ash rain weather condition. At the end of the path, like I mentioned before, there's the bananas and the cauliflowers, but there is the new mineral hexakite. So there is a ton of it around here. So by these pools, which are usually filled with lava in between the cracks, up on the edges over here, and even up there. So a ton to get in just this spot alone at the end of the path. But there's a ton more gathering items over here where it seems it's like the Dryson plant, but the Dryson plant is underground. So this is all of the above ground stuff. So teleporting to the Palooza Ridge 1 Reeker device here, uh, we find ourselves on another path, which has a whole bunch more items. So first off is the fruit trees, which have the light apples, which there's a spot here for them. But also there is tetracite, as well as dulamite, kind of around the rocks, as well as photon chunks. And this can be found kind of leading down the path line. This path line kind of swirls around, and as you can see, the minerals are kind of like up on the rocks. Then there's another spot for the apple trees in the corner there. Kind of makes its way down around until it ends there and kind of splits off into two different sections. This split going left leads us to even more of those light apple trees, which is the final section of them that I found, but kind of later goes on into the deck space combat area. And then to the right, it takes us to that other path that we talked about earlier with outer area two. But on this kind of middle piece of this, you can find the last gathering item, which are these little plants, the stia herbs, and you should be able to just find a number of them just running along this road. There is one other thing that's actually exclusive to this outer area too, and that's these complex minerals. So these don't give anything unique, but once you smash them, they give you anything from monotite all the way up to hexakite, so all of the minerals across the range. But you need something specific to actually smash them, and that requires a certain weather condition to happen. You know the right weather condition when these lava cores or the lava rises out of these different pools. And then things will start flying out of the sky called lava orbs. Once they drop down, you can pick them up and then use them to either smash the complex minerals directly or throw it at the lava cores to do a big blast and destroy all the complex minerals, getting all of the different items. Unfortunately, with this, you might wait a while for the weather condition to happen because it's pretty much random or RNG, but uh, it is kind of worthwhile getting all of those if it's already occurring. Before these different spots, it's along those paths I was already talking about. So right here uh, where I'm at currently, uh, where like the region mag is at and along this other path kind of next to the hexakite and in between next to the famous crabs. But now we move on to the outer area one, which is the final spot for gathering items, which only has five of them. So with this, there's three different minerals, photon quartz, hexakite, and infernium, which is the only spot where you can get it directly. And then there is two uh, food items, light tomatoes, as well as the famous stia mushrooms. So for these mushrooms, is actually right next to the Ryuker device, Felusa Ridge 2, where it shows up by this pool. So the condition with these famous items is that it needs to be nighttime or the dark section of the circle next to the compass. And then also for these, as far as I'm aware, you can only get three in total every single day. 
But while we're over here, this is also a good spot to get the tomatoes, the other food item here. But there's also a couple other spots next to kind of like the Palooza Ridge one that was back in the outer area too. If you kind of just like run into this area, as well as buy the purple trigger device. And for both the photon quartz and the hexakite, they can be found next to the cocoon in this area, as well as also by the purple trigger. So these can be just found in abundance kind of around these two different things. You should have no problem finding them. But for Infernium, it's a different story. There's actually only a single node of this on the map, which is directly in the center next to the beam going into the sky. And this only shows up during certain weather conditions, just like the complex minerals. So you need to have those pools fill up with lava or kind of have like the area have like a reddish glow, and then you'll be able to smack these. So it's pretty RNG on when those weather conditions happen. So you might have to wait a little bit to get that guaranteed piece of Infernium. So that's pretty much all of the gathering items that you can find. But one last thing I want to talk about is the Thames meat that you can get. So for three of the different meats, the robust, the light, and the rich meat, you can pretty much find that in all of the different gathering areas. So the Stia outskirts, the medial outer area two, as well as outer area one. There is no Thames in the Dryson plant, but for the crisp meat, this can only be found in a single area, and that is this last one. And it can only be found from a certain type of enemy here, which is the box or like the fox like wolf like kind of tames. So unfortunately, for what is considered the best food item to actually use for DPS, because it's a meat item, which gives potency, as well as it being crisp, which gives you weak point damage. This is the only spot in the steer region that you can actually get it. So it might take you a while to farm up a good amount. But of course, if you had crisp meat from another zone, say like Ratem, then you could just go to Ratem, use the crisp meat there, and then go back to Stia, and you'll still have the full buff anyways. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.